Hey traders, John Hell here. I've got a bit of market update for you. We're looking at stock market, gold, silver, mining stocks as well too. Uh, something interesting happening with the mining sector right now. Also, I want to share something with you happening with the interest rates as well too. Um, and also something, yeah, anyway, let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, before I do start, I am doing something really special. For the first 20 people that go to johnsfreegift.com, not only am I going to give you a free trading course, not only am I going to give you a free training that walks you through my number one trading system that I trade every single day, I'm going to give it to you for free. But I'm also for the very for the very first 20 people only get a free one hour coaching call with me to help you build your own custom plan. What are you doing wrong? What are you doing right? What do you need help with? For the very first 20 people only, and I promise you, after you finish this coaching call, you know exactly what you're doing wrong, what you're doing right, what are the steps you need to take, and how to actually move forward. For the very first 20 people, you're going to get that. So this is what I want you to do right now. Go to johnsfreegift.com. First thing in the description, click on that. Go over there. Put your email address in. We'll then give you access to the trading course. I'm also going to give you access to a training. And then also you can then also you can actually then book a time for free to actually speak with me. And I'm going to build your own custom trading plan for you. But the first 20 people only. Go do that right now. Let's go have a look at the good old stocky market. What's happening right now in the market? Um, I just finished a really amazing, amazing and incredible, uh, almost two hours really, like an hour and 40 minutes, something like that, almost two hours long um, coaching session with my private clients. Absolutely amazing. I'm, I'm telling you right now, traders, if you ever want something that's really going to help you out, my Inner Circle program is for you, I promise you. When it comes to chart reading, trading systems, understanding the mindset, so on and so forth. Anyway, look at that, what's happening right now on the Finviz. Oh man, I think I've got, I've got boom boom in my room. <laughs> I've got boom boom. For you guys that watched the video I did a few days ago, I talked about boom boom. Anyway, um, so right now guys, a bit of a flat market across the screen, really not much. We've got the banks. The banks have been hit quite hard. JP Morgan down 1% or 1.2%. Bank of America down 1.38%. Visa's down a little bit as well too. We've got also really not much going on here. We've got Oxy, so we've got a, a bit, bit of a bit of an up move happening with the energy sector. Let's actually go look at that. Let's actually go look at the energy sector here. See what's going on with so energy sector is XLE, guys. If you guys are wondering, XLE is the energy sector, or uh, the ETF. So let's actually look at what's going on right now with the XLE uh, market through here. So I can see I can see a few things. Firstly, I can see that we're below the moving average, so we're, we're and we're also starting to trend down. What actually happens here is going to be really interesting, right? We have a low, we have a lower low, we've also got a lower high, and the moving average is starting to come down. So if we start to do something like this and then we break down, we're probably going to continue down from here. So uh, that that'll be that that'll be the interesting thing that I'm really watching for when it comes to the energy sector there, because we are getting a bit of a bit of a bid going on there. When it comes to the energy sector, let's, go, let's actually go look at Oxy here for a minute. So Oxy is definitely sort of flattening out. So looking at through here, we've got possibly a beautiful head and shoulder formation forming through here as well. Right, look at this here. So we have a shoulder, head, and then shoulder formation. And now we're getting this period through here. So if we can get something like this, and let's actually moving over, and then we get a good breakaway bar, that could actually be a short set. That actually could be a, a, a short setup for me that I'm looking for. So again, I don't, I'm not going to 100% short that, right? But um, just looking at the markets, we can see that we're actually slowing down as well too, right? We had this nice strong move, strong move, and then now look, we're starting to slow through here. So we're getting this sort of sideways movement through here right now. Um, we are definitely in sort of this sort of modality of this here. Uh, let's actually take this off the screen right now. Let's take you off the screen. Let's take you off the screen. And let's actually just draw in the the neckline there that I'll be using for the head. As you can see, the moving average is flat. So I don't actually, I don't even need the moving average on there. Let's actually just go back to here, right? So trading is all about looking at what the, what's happening right now and not what my ego says. Oh, but John, you said last week, blah, blah, blah. That's what my ego says. But John... You were saying this on the video last week. You can't go against that. You've got to fight for it. But hang on a minute. The market's actually doing something different. So we can see we have this shoulder. There's the head. This could be a shoulder formation. So we get something like this. And then we get something like that on a breakdown. 
that could quite possibly, guys, quite possibly get a bit more sideways movement and then a breakdown like that, starting to break these levels. That could be possibly getting ready for a movement on the downside. So possibly, 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 possibly getting ready for um, a downward movement in the energy sector. Let's go look at the S&P 500 today. S&P 500, it's still right at that or right at that rejection point. We actually got a reversal bar today. So we can see we actually had, um, and you can see I was talking about this with the with my private clients. And I said, notice how when the market does go through these, when it went through this movement here and then it started to go sideways, we had a drop, right? Now this was different through here because we're making a lower high. But I said, we're starting to do something similar, not the exact same. Notice how we're starting to go through this very sideways movement through here. So I wouldn't be too surprised to actually see a bit of a pullback through here on the on the energy sector. Now, traders, it depends on what happens through here. If we get a very strong move on the downside, something like this, bam, 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 then oh, it's 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 going to be really hard to see. Are we actually at a major significant bottom? But if we start to get something like this, right, where we get something like this, and we get something like this, and we start to do something like this for a bit. Right, and then we start to get some good strong breaking out like that, then yeah, this is a major bottoming pattern. We can never pick the bottom, but if we can start to jump on some sort of a trend, then when we get that, then now we're probably likely to see this move starting to get up there and, and so on and so forth. Make sense? So that's what I'm looking at through there when it comes to uh, the S&P 500. Um, again, we're right at that resistance of this, but we are squeezing up, right? Look at this here. Look how, look how we're probably going to start to squeeze up through here. So uh, what's going to happen through there? Firstly, what, what I do believe is going to happen initially is we're going to get some sort of a pullback. All right, let's go look at the hourly chart here for a minute. Yeah, look at that through there, right? We've got a high, low, high, low. And look at this here. We had a fault. What, see, that, see that false breakout? And now we actually had a breakdown. So that false breakout is giving us an end of sort of a, a move indicator. Higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, and then a false move to the upside. Complete trend reverse. So we're probably likely to get something like a breaking of this level and then at least a bit of a pullback on that hourly chart looking at the S&P 500. Move over now through to the mining sector. And the mining sector has actually had a bit of a bit of bit of a move to the upside. The trend is still majorly down on the mining sector, so I wouldn't want to be trying to go long the mining sector yet. Um, if we do get a bit of a bid, the market actually starts to get a bit of a bid here through here. We're probably likely to see a bit of a move right back up towards that twenty nine dollar level uh, through there. So that's that's what I'll be focusing on there. Low, 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 and then obviously if we do get a bit of a bid going through that twenty nine dollar level as well. Let's go look at the. Gold right now is right at this level of resistance. We're actually cut at a, at a couple of levels of resistance. The danger point right now is actually we have, we're getting another second rally through here. Uh, again, we are in a bit of a pullback. We are still in a downward trend looking at this level through here on the on gold. We still have a high, a lower high, and a lower high. And, and as you can see, every time we've got these little rallies, rallies, and rallies, they've gotten sold into. Doesn't mean we're definitely going to get that right now, but trying to pick a bottom right now is very, very, very risky. What I'll be focused for on gold, and I'll be focusing on this when I'm actually doing my intraday trading, my short-term trading, is I'm going to look at the hourly charts, and I'm going to be focusing more on what's going to happen through here. Do we start to fail through here, right? Because we start to build up, and then we actually start to, let's actually go to the four-hour chart. And as you can see, right, the four-hour chart is low, high, low, high, low. If we start to fail through here, we start to get something like this, something like that, something like that, something like that, and then breaking the low, we're probably going to get something like that uh, moving down, right? So as you can see, look at this through here, look at that through there. Nice, good up bar, strong move up, sideways pullback. My private clients, my private clients, look at this here for you guys, that, for, my, for my private, look at this here, right? Strong move up, weak pullback. Large bar, nice upward move, right? Private clients, you, you seen that there? Take a screenshot, guys, take a screenshot. Private clients, or at least go back and look at it yourself, right? Um, so we can see that that's what's going on there right now on gold. Let's have a look at silver, silver, and silver is just really holding here. Um, really not much going on with silver. We're right, still right at that level of support. Again, that's that major level of support through there. We do make a high, lower high, and we're just hovering around here, right? But the trend still is majorly on the downside. Look at this here. If 
if I squeeze my charts up a bit more, we can see how we have a high, lower high, and a lower high, and a strong trending moving average. We've got strong trending in that in that market uh, going on through there. Let's go have a look at the good old Bitcoin for a minute. And the Bitcoin, let's take off the moving averages because we don't need that here. The good old Bitcoin is still going sideways. Um, and we're still in this overall bear flag formation through here, and we're still going through a bit of a pullback, right? So this is the reason why we're getting a bit of a pullback is because remember the market is like an energy field. So if we had a very strong move down, we need a bit of time to recover, and then we go for another move down, we need a bit of time to recover. So we may even get something like that coming real soon out of Bitcoin. That's the reason why now guys, we're spending a lot of time going sideways. Because why? Because we've already spent a lot of time going down. So we're refueling now, we're spending a lot of time refueling to get ready to, get ready to go for another move. Um, uh, looking at that through there. Let's go have a look at the, uh, looking at the um, the interest rates. And as you can see, the interest rates completely, we had a little bit of an up move uh, a few days ago. And then recently we had this complete down move through here, still trying to get this head and shoulder formation going. Um, and then also looking at the, uh, looking at the 10 year, what are we doing? We're actually starting this downward trend. Now we look at this here, we're starting to get this downward trend going on through here now, down lower highs, lows. See how it's actually, we actually started to change the tune now of what's happening here. Uh, we can see here that we had a low, a, a high, a higher low, um, a little bit through there, not much there, high, higher low, high, equal low, lower high, lower low, probably another lower high, and we're probably going to start to see a move on the downside. So there we go, traders. Hope that helps you out today. Remember, the very first 20 people, if you want to get access to that Master Trader bundle for free, free trading course, free training, and then also 20 people get access to a free coaching call with me where I promise you, if you once you leave this coaching session, I promise you, you'll know exactly where you're going wrong, what you need to start doing. And if your job, if your role is to actually try to make good money from the markets, but you're not, I promise you, I'll show you, I'll shine a light on the biggest mistakes you're making right now, but how to overcome them, build a bit of a plan for you to help you move forward. Anyway, guys, first thing in the description, go click on that and I'll see you real soon.